But as I was saying, you got to question those in authority. You got to look at the authority figures, the people in charge. You know, I always bring up Barack Obama a lot of times, not because he was a, a bad person, just because of the movement he ushered in. He ushered in that LGBTQ movement with a lot of his laws that he passed, you know, and I didn't agree with that. I didn't agree with that because it didn't agree with my Bible. You understand? It doesn't. So I, I, I'm very disappointed in him about that. But it's okay. He has to answer for that. You understand? Just because people pass laws, that don't mean they're correct in the eyes of God. Just like with the uh, three in the fiery furnace. And hey, you got to bow down and worship this idol. Oh, no, I don't. Just because the world enacts a, a law doesn't make it right in the eyes of God. You have to keep that in your mind. You got to keep that in your mind. God says abides by the laws of the land. You understand? Respect government. True. But if that law go contrary to our law, the law in the Bible, and the commandments and the statutes in the Bible, we don't supposed to go with it. You have to understand something about that. Like telling people to stay home, what's wrong with that? Nothing. That's not against God. But everybody wants to talk about my rights. They violate my rights. Well... You want the $1,200, but you don't want to stay home. I'm just saying, people, if it goes against God, then there's the problem. And that's what's ushering the last days. Why was Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed? Because of every sin known to man, mainly sexual sin. Sexually immoral people led to fire and brimstone being rained down on Sodom and Gomorrah. And you see, the more we embrace this, as Christians, the more we embrace these traditions and embrace these new ways of marriage, this other ways to, to join people to marriage that's not of God, the worse our nation is going to get and the worse the world is going to get. I've been to Japan. I've been to Thailand. And in, in Thailand, this movement has already been taking place. They embrace it. They let men change their genders. They let women change their genders. They let little children Sleep with grown men over there. It's a part of way of life. They accept it. They said they're the biggest money magnet. It's prostitution. You see, there was a person running for president that wanted to legalize prostitution. Legalize everything. Lawlessness. You understand what God means by lawlessness? He's not talking about the law of the land lawlessness. He's talking about lawlessness against him. Let me end with this. Why call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things I ask of you? A lot of Christians out here are misleading. A lot of false Christians out here are misleading other people. Well, God's okay with my lifestyle. He's going to forgive me. Yes, he is. But he's not okay with it. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? It's like saying I'm a murderer. I'm a, con I'm a contract killer. And I'm like, God's okay with me. Killing people for money. God's okay with that. He's going to forgive me. Hmm. But what if you die in that sin? What if you die in this act of murder? What if you die in the act of fornication? What if you die in the act of sexual sin? Then what? Then what? You just condemn yourself. You just condemn many people. You just mis misled many people from your concept of thinking. You know, I don't hate anyone. My Bible doesn't tell me to hate. I love people enough to tell them the truth. And that's what God wants you to tell people, the truth. Confusion. And he said, God is not the author of confusion. Just remember that. If you think about anybody who wants to change their natural body to another body, that's confused. And God is not the author of confusion. Just, I'm going to end with that. Have a blessed day, people. Be careful about sexual sin and fornication. God, but whether you have a marriage, a holy matrimony, a man and a woman to save your soul from hell. It's going to be a huge step and to teach you how to raise your family and teach your family how to way to go. I have seen families that the whole family, the generational curse of homosexuality has spread and spread. And it's like more and more people in that family are homosexual, are lesbian, are confused. You see our sin just breeds more sin. Have a blessed day, people.